Hello everyone and welcome to Overcoming with Shanna Monique. As always, it is such an honor and a pleasure to be back here with you guys. Um, just sharing another word that the Lord has put on my heart for us all. So um, I know it's been a little while that um, I've, you know, since I've been on. Uh, but I've really been allowing the Lord to just just speak to me. Um, I've just been meditating. Uh, he's been giving me a lot of words. And um, he's also been confirming those things uh, just through different, um, you know, through different outlets. I've been, you know, listening to different music that's just really been confirming his word. Um, the Lord has allowed me to have the opportunity to listen to different sermons, um, different videos, maybe here on YouTube. And so as always, you know, I, I say periodically, he is speaking so loud and clear. He really is. It would take the deaf, dumb, and blind not to see and hear what he is doing in this time. And so I just wanted to wait until the Lord cleared me before I came back on to release uh, another message. But I just want to give him glory. I want to give him honor and give him praise because he is a Lord of his word. Like Yahweh does not say a thing and does not perform it. Anything that he says, he does. And, um, you know, we can trust in him you know we can believe in him we can hold fast to those things that he have proclaimed and declared over our lives and so i just wanted to take a moment to just give him his due honor and praise because he is worthy you know i would not be able to come on and release his messages and you would not be able to hear me today if it were not for his grace and his mercy you know, so um, let us not grow weary in, in, in well-doing, you know, but let us keep pressing towards that mark. Uh, you know, let us continue to uh, wait and trust on the Lord as he reveals and as he leads us into the paths of righteousness and as he continues to lead us into the blessings that he has stored up for us. So today's message, um, the Lord wanted me to be very clear. Um, so I'm going to be reading this scripture from the easy version. I'm going to be reading from uh, uh, Timothy, First Timothy, verse five. I'm sorry, First Timothy, chapter five. And I'm starting at verse seven. It says, teach everyone clearly to do these things. Then nobody can say that the believers are doing anything wrong. Verse eight says, every believer must take care of his own family. Certainly he must do that for the people who live with him in his home. If anyone does not do that, it shows that he has refused God's true message that person is worse than someone who does not believe in Christ and so the Lord is letting us know that you know before we can go out before we can give words before we can be a blessing um, to anyone on the outside we first ought to be making sure that we are doing it with those who are in our own homes, our families. Um, I'm going to go and read that same scripture from the King James Version. It says, but if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he have denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. And so this is not just the people of your home, but it is also uh, your own people. So your family, we have to make sure we are giving back to our own. How can we go out and proclaim the goodness of the Lord to others, to strangers, to friends, to co-workers? Well, we can't do that within our own bloodline within our own home we have to make sure the same message we are preaching abroad that we are also releasing in our very 
own environment, in our homes, in our families. And so this is a, a strong message that the Lord wanted me to release on today. Um, don't get lost. Don't get caught up in trying to give everyone a word that you forget those who are right there amongst you. Because the word of the Lord tells us if we forget about those in our own homes, in our own families, we will be just as bad as the unbelievers, just as bad as the sinners. And we don't want to do that. So if you have found yourself in this very situation, if you found yourself preaching or trying to correct others outside of your home, outside of your families, and you're not given that loving kindness, that peace, that love, that joy, that gentleness, that goodness, that self-control, that patience, that faithfulness to those within your own home and your families, repent. Ask the Lord to forgive you. And from this point moving forward, make sure that you are giving to those at home before you begin to give to those outside, all right? So I pray that this message has been a blessing to you. And also, before I go, I just want to, the Lord, since I've started recording, the Lord has been placing this song on my spirit. And when I say since before I started to record, I literally mean that um, this is a song that the Lord has been ministering into my soul. I want to say for the majority of this weekend. And so I just as um, I continue to speak to you, I just hear it ringing in my soul. And so I don't know who needs to hear this, but I just want to release this in obedience in Jesus name. And so it's not an, uh, an entire song. It's just a little snippet of a song from uh, Fred Hammond. And it goes, trust in the name of the Lord. 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 And trust in the name of the Lord. Trust in the name of the Lord. I will trust him. Trust in the name of the Lord. Trust in the name of the Lord. Trust in the name of the Lord. I will trust him. So I hope and play, pray that that blesses you. The Lord is telling us to trust in the name of the Lord. Trust in his name. When you feel like you don't know where else to turn, when you feel like you don't know how to hold on, begin to sing that in your spirit. Trust in the name of the Lord and personalize it. I will trust in the name of the Lord. I will trust in the name of the Lord. Make it your prayer. Make it your cry out to the Lord. And as you begin to sing, as you begin to meditate on that, the Lord will show through. He will come up in whatever area you are needing him to show up in, in Jesus' name. And so I pray that this message has blessed you. And until next time, family, you have a beautiful day.